Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Massalia, where this Republic of Massalia has gone to hell again. No, gone to Hades again, I should say. Because we do not have the confidence uh, in the Senate. There may be civil war looming, which seems more than likely, especially that the man who runs the army well, is disloyal, which makes it worse. And I can't bribe him. Only because, well, he's uncaring and we granted him office. And low faction approval and, of course, the tyranny. Which, which I admit, I have been negligent over the last two episodes. So I'm just going to give it one last chance for this Republic. Or otherwise, we would have to, well, embrace it. Uh, so what do you mean, embrace it? What we mean is, if all else fails, then, uh, you might as well go become a dictatorship. Which, of course, you need a guy who is very popular and is over 16, the country is tyranny, and oddly enough, it says Democrats have greater or equal semi support. Democrats? Shouldn't that be oligarchs? I mean, that could be a slight, um, error on their part, but again, I think you have to take it up to, um, Paradox Interactive, the developers of this game, um, for that little minor detail. Like, why on earth Democrats would want a dictatorship? That would be oligarchs, right? I mean, they are what they are, and they approve the tyranny, while, whereas Democrats do not like tyranny. And that tyranny is the source of the Republic's shortcomings in decision-making and whatnot. That's one thing. Wait, look. Let me be honest with you, and I, I said it once, and I'm going to say it again. I like the changes of what they did with the Republic, with the uh, penalty when you try to pass it, if you don't have over 60% support of the Senate from all parties regardless. Um, and any less than that, you get a bit of tyranny when you try to pass something. I mean, I understand the penalty. But the problem is, I've been overdoing that a little bit. I've been gone all over the hill. Whereas in some other countries, like somewhere in Magna Grecia, or, or uh, when I say Magna Grecia, I mean the city-states of what's left of them. And Athens, which I believe it'll do much better, because they have a better economy, and they make more money than I ever will. But don't mind that, that's because we have a disloyal army. So we're not paying them on the maintenance. And it's partly the reason why you don't see other countries like Carthage expand, and they may or may not have a civil war. There's a whole lot of them. Depending on power base, of course. So, if I want to get rid of tyranny fast, well, then I'm going to switch this um, religious idea, which, thank goodness, we're level 4, over 4 for religious ideas. I have divine mandate. Reduce that tyranny a bit faster. Especially if we have a more popular ruler. Which, by the way, since election day is coming up in March, which I hope that Nicanor, a Democrat, better fix everything. They're all pulling behind him. He has experience. Well, he's not as popular as me. I used to be a gambler. There's Nicanor. So it's like, yes, Masala is at peace, but Pantheon contains unorthodox deities, non Hellenic, which that is a minor thing. As much as I'd like to be all Hellenic, but that costs stability. And I kind of need that stability, even though it's going to be going down pretty fast because of low Senate support. I hope the Democrat will finish, or finish fix everything. So, as I said, we're going to give this Republic one more chance at this to undo everything of what Tratus has done. Since, I mean, if you look at them already, all these traits, these are all terrible, and the pox is, well, that's fine. As I said before, I have been negligent, and I'm sorry. And we'll try to fix everything here. And if we don't, then... Maybe we should embrace some um, absolute rule. 
Which does, which isn't too hard in making steps. You're gonna need another oligarch ruler for that. Hey, don't worry about the Civil War thing. I'm sure it'll come around. So if anybody wants it, then um, yes, we evoke your officers and not a Hellenic. True, it is. Oh, that's bad. At least there is a Hellenic, but the statesmanship is bad. That's another thing. Matter of fact, all these people have bad statesmanship. Including that man who was the former general. And we liked him. He should have had his um, old position back, but we can't now because of that. Very disloyal man who's got three lower cohorts. And full of zeal. But as for this thing, um. Oh, just give it to him. So you slide approval. On the oligarch's part, since we put an oligarch man in here. Well, there's this, but... I ain't got the money. Either that or less tyranny. What's more important to you? Loyalty or less tyranny? Make up your mind! Just give it to him. I know it's another disloyal character on that part, but, um, hey, let the Democrats fi fix everything, right? So let's just fast forward this. It's my fault, and I own it. And Rados is brain damaged now. Well, he ain't gonna be around for long. His condition is getting worse and worse, so our sympathies not. Alright, Nicanor has taken over. Threat of Civil War is gone, but we got a lot of work to do. He may not be the healthiest, but um, he's got the money. Not for corruption, but to befriend somebody. Friend to the general. Good. We have the army back under our control. The Democrat Party wants to pass a law. What law? Deny priests and senate. It could force through it, and I will accept that. They can get rid of traditional servants and faster population conversion speed. More Hellenics. I could solve it. And what do the others want? Traditionalist does not want Alluvians again. And oligarchs wants to declare war. We don't have a cast spell against them. Either them. Or them. Or them. Who are you talking about? Protect the society. Over there. We have no quarrel against them. But again, I can't do anything because the Senate support is extremely low. But I guess we gotta please the oligarchs a bit more. Sort of. Let's have less tyranny. So it'll go down a lot faster now. Oh yes, I remember you, but... They're pulling for you, but I don't think you'll be around. Kava. Also Democrat. Hello, Spartacid. It's a Spartacid. 
oligarch. And the fourth candidate for now, Aristarchus Spartacus, another Spartacus traditionalist. So, looks like the Democrats will be running things for a while to try to fix everything here. Now again, it's only the member of the oligarchs that could change a lifetime election. But we'll try to get this support behind and no corruption. Because that man who ran a country was extremely corrupt. That may have been a reason for that. That may have been a reason. Not only his pox ridden, brain damaged fool, but he was extremely corrupt. And where is Naganor? Little corruption, but not too much. We don't want any more of that. You hear? Never married. And I cannot pass anything. So we gotta start pleasing those people. Don't want us to integrate Olivians anymore, but here's the problem. The majority of the slaves are Alluvians. And of course, there's some Alluvians that moved to Corsica. And I even thought about the possibility of integrating the Corsican people as well. Joey. It could go back down to 23 percent. But again, they make up a majority. And, and we get approval from traditionalists. Which we kind of need more from that. But they won't support us because I'm the current Archon. Autogarchs, uh, well, they do prefer tyranny still. So it's going to be more towards Democrats. As we hold the majority of the bullet. That's the reason why I was elected. Sorry about this. Lost your citizenship in the next ten years. Yeah, sorry about that. And, but the only positive of that is more cultural assimilation. At least to. I mean, a bit more faster now. We've I mean, always wanted to assimilate people. Get going. We have the un we have the army back under our control. Or we may have a few more disloyal characters causing trouble. No risk of civil war yet. Yeah, you got what you wanted. I wonder if we just put it back just to spite them. <laughs> no, just don't do it. Can't do that because that's one area. And if we ever get Senate support again, I would love to expand into this region, now that we have Carthage on our side. If we can't seem to go anywhere, then we have no choice but to go for a dictatorship. But at least the manpower will slowly recover here and there.
But be careful, he's... Oh, no, they're loyal again. They were disloyal the last time when we left the previous episode. An outrageous display of brazen aptitude. Anna Marcus Stratica challenged the ownership of the holding belonging to Naganor. This afternoon, with only a set of blatant forged stockings to back up this claim, the proceedings did not last long. Sherry Press for reconference. I had belonged to us for generations. Man, what do I have to gain for money other than get more inventions? Now it's another guy. Well, more stability then. Which I may have to take advantage of changing that pantheon. Remember that traditionalists don't think of it well. Let's have more happiness for Hellenics, but I don't think they'll like it for the Druidics. Unless I want to change another Hellenic deity because as much as I like the name for recovery, but we need money. And we get more commerce than taxes here, so I think it makes sense to just switch one of them. Don't switch the Druidic yet. Hermes would be a good one. And the Druidic thing with Fargo is too similar. Discipline and taxes, yike. That's a hell of a thing. Popular assimilation, that's what we call it. Tricane and I think. Just gotta go with this. We'll hardly ever call him, but the passive effect for national commerce income will definitely help us make money in the long run. Yeah. People want my holdings and therefore the use of volume will increase the commerce, which may not contribute much, but It'll help. And in the future, we'll most likely uh, replace it with um, Artemis for manpower recovery speed. So that way we can switch that future day to God of War for another thing that is, isn't manpower recovery speed. Money is a priority. There goes the governor. Let's population group to Corsica. Fine by me. And our Senate support dropped. When you appoint somebody else. In Dementia. Xenophobia. I'm already wise. Just gonna start seeing that man as my rival. Because, you know, he's, he's ill. Go for research. quietly. They just want my holdings, I tell you. All I need to do is just get the tyranny to go down. Down, down, down. The 
green thing. I've appointed it you and you screwed it up. We barely have the money for that. This is why I need to expand. Get more money and help the provinces. And eventually, got to integrate them. But, remember, can't do anything because the Senate doesn't want He was there for a long time, so it would be a good time as any. Put another Democrat man in. Matter of fact, might as well be you, because, um... Well, both of you are similar to Kuzman. You're greedy, he's not. He's better statesmanship, you don't. This is just to spike him. That'll help it. Yeah, scorned families ain't good. Oh, I know. I got one for you. Just to spite him. <laughs> That'll show him. Also, I don't know if I'll... I don't think I'll survive this term. Struggle between the religious echelons of our society and peasants have recently come into light. The populace at large feel like the religious ceremonies are inaccessible and distant. On the other hand, our high priest and tends to demand a distance uh, need to do their jobs properly and argument uh, the peasants have no rights to the inner workings of our religious ceremonies. The peasants are right. It's time to open the gates of the temples. Just more stability. That's what's needed around here. Oh no. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Which one? There's two similar names. Best Titania. Best Titania. They're spelled the same. I'm talking about this one in particular. Sure, but I ain't coming over there. We get the stability up back up in the 60s again, and we'll switch another one of the uh, another one of the gods. Get rid of the Druidic. It's going down. Get rid of the governor. You're in. Fortunately, we're lacking talent. A lot of women, not a lot of men, and many more children that yet to be grown up. Man, post Civil War years has not been kind to us.
please remember, I am not expected to survive this term. He's gonna get elected before I die off. And you know, he's sick too. But at least it's another Democrat who is incorruptible. Just for a future one. Gotta be more popular just to get that tyranny down. Arrival at the court. Late Barrel Archon, uh, Nicanor's come to conflict with uh, Catechalese, Nostratically. At every turn and decision, their opinions are persistently clashing. If one of them says south, the other probably will say north. If one wants to trade with the neighbor, the other will argue for war. There's constant bickerings ruining whatever authority Nicanor used to have, and the atmosphere of Masala is at a breaking point. Well, I'm about to die. So, let him have the uh, popularity. Fine, have your will then. I'm about to be dead anyway. And just did. Not a popular man, unfortunately, despite he's the general of the army. But we'll lose the approval. Term length they want. Shorten it, right? Yes, shorten term. Of course they do. State infrastructure. That we can do. And that cannot be done because granting holdings is going to cost you money. See? If we were a rich country like, say, Athens, I would do it, but not here. It's impossible to do that as Massalia. Serve my time. Overwhelming support for him. And he suffered on cancer. I would love to seek treatment, but our physicians are terrible. Short terms. Well, we can invest in state infrastructure. This here, but we don't have the money for that. Sorry. to do that. Just to upgrade the city. He's got all his box, but he's too brain damaged to be trying to assassinate. Well, that won't happen. War's over. Yeah. 
Nexus. Hopefully we'll get another stability up and I'll switch another one of the guns. Outrage elites. The Masalid so-called oligarchs are deeply unsettled by the decisions of the current government, who they see as ignoring and even acting against the best interests of the strong. In order to placate his politician supporters, Aratus is demanding that we make a contestant show the willingness to heal the division. Monthly approval. They do not ask so much. They were cooperating. At least that's what we hope. Bad, bad statesmanship. Don't you have anyone better? Well, there's him. He's gambling, but... Hey. Oh, great. Of course again in Canaan. We're starting to have more foreign characters here. He's become trusting. Alright. Less tyranny. And a warm period here. Fortunately, he has this Terry right now. And Senate influence is bad when there's a man with this Terry. That's so. Again, I can't pass any laws, but if they want to shorten the term, fine, we'll give it to them. It's just I can't do a damn thing. This will help. It's mainly for exporting. More trade, more commerce. Tyranny is nearly almost gone. Scandal from a fellow Democrat who suffered the gout. Just token of course to be sufficient. Again, we've seen this event before, if you recall the um, Trentum series. Need to be more popular. Alia developed. Our efforts to improve the infrastructure and town planning of Massalia and Opsomatic Time has borne fruit in renovating the dilapidated district of proper roads and amenities. These things take time. We needed to be more civilized. Otherwise, um, we would have a lot of trouble here. Should we give them their rights back? Alright, remember, if you do that, that lowers stability, which we didn't get a lot of stability as of late. So all he gets is a fine. There goes my popularity, there goes his. Widow's prestige, it was an unfair trial. Get the money. Almost up to um, 30, which again it has to be 
Yes, 30% if you wish to pass something, which of course it'll cost you tyranny. It's gonna get you tyranny, I should say. Man of the gods, let him off lightly. Endorse party cost. What do you mean endorse party? You can't endorse party, can't you? It says you could do this. Is that what they mean by that? Oh, he's not going to be around for long. Tyranny is about to be gone for good. Right. If we were to declare war now, this would get us up to that much tyranny. Bear in mind. And doing so, um, these oligarchs will like it. But it'll be a little easier to fight that war now. Now that they dropped their alliance with them. But the guy has to like you way, way more to um, integrate with him. Maybe this will help. Future Archons. I haven't really paid attention, but yes, there's plenty of unrest because the Alluvians have lost their rights. And the city of Agatha is a lot worse. Corsica seems alright. Send him out of here. Send the researcher. We got some manpower out of that. Or lack thereof. Revolt again. Time just flies by fast in this series, and oh no, what are you doing? You've declared war against them. We're coming. It's been a long time since we had a good war. We'll be there. We still have military access with them, right? Yeah, we demanded that long ago. Let me still take our city. Started this. Seven loyal callers. In case you're wondering.
And nobody's asked to shorten the term length. And if they want to do that, accept it. Do not move, we don't have the morale yet. more months and we're ready to go. Yes, our four minutes is really low, but um, we made it as such. Not at the maximum, we'll take it. I'm gonna get you. Not expected to. Oh. We'll be sure to point him once I'm gone. Embrace the Jordan class. Oh dear. Is that only because? Let me check. Oh, these are their Hellenics here. Yeah. Look at the religious screen of the nation. There are far more Jordics than there are Hellenics here. Kill them all. You can now go to siege that area. Well, I'll be taking all this back. <gasps> oh no! I mean, I know he was old, but this was too soon. It's going to be led by the gouty man who isn't going to live long either. And then if he dies, then after that, then it's going to be led by this man, who's an oligarch. At least the Democrats restored some sanity to the Senate and the country. But now we're in the middle of a conflict. Two druid dicks. Put you up there, because you're a fellow Democrat.
What caused the general to be disloyal? What does he have against me? Because the low facts are cruel, tarnished his honor, trusting. Well, that's going to cause a lot of problems now. Even more so now that there's a new Archon here. Which, honestly, I think that man will die before even a threat of civil war would come. The army's disloyal now, so it's going to go wherever it wants to go. Addressing the good people in the this morning on a matter of little importance, found himself completely lost for words. If our con Carlos were intervening, we, could, we would surely uh, earn the undying gratitude of um, However, such public disorder by parties Carlos would likely cause concern. At least I gotta have friends. At least make a bit of money. Maybe we'll have to start getting our own army in case of civil war. Because the general is extremely disloyal. As a man, he may be Democrat, but that's just low approval. What quite I say listen. I'll be dead before the Civil War would even start. But since we are allied to Carthage, let me tell you what's gonna happen. If the Civil War does break out here again. I mean first it'll be Civil War. Second would be foreign intervention. And after that, then we have no choice but to embrace the dictatorship. Because honestly, in a country so far from home, and that is Greece, republicanism does not work in Massalia. We try to please our masses, despite all the tyranny and everything that we've done for them. It's just when we try to please one party, we can't please all the others. Especially if it's a party with an overwhelming majority. Siege is one. And we can colonize another territory where there's a lot more Corsicans than ever. Well, at least that this law army's going where it wants to go, that's war related. And we can only create seven cohorts in case of civil war, but. I wouldn't hold my breath on it, because, well, I'd be dead by then. <laughs> you have the theoretical Delphi, they're, they're asking that stuff again. But of course, the, 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 Delphi, the Oracle is right. But just they need to convince our friends and countrymen that the Oracle is wrong. What they're saying is full of bull. Again, it's the general that has the biggest power base because he runs the army. That man is a troublemaker. He's looking to assassinate somebody. What did I say for? Hey, at least it helps us make money.
speed it up. Democrat approvals going up still. Well, I'll be dead very soon. I'll be dead before Civil War. But if a Civil War is not prevented by then, then Masalio is going to be in deep, deep, deep trouble. The governor, of course, is a particularly weasel like man. In fact, it's making itself clear now more than ever. He's got to stir up people of his government, hoping to challenge our rule. Unfortunately, he is well regarded in this locale, and our response was made with care. Cannot move against him. Oh, yeah. Because I'm about to die within the next month. That man again. He died of natural causes. The oligarchs now rule here again. At least for now. And the support of the Senate has gone all to heck again. The Civil War is inevitable. Dysteri arthritis. No, Civil War will still break out at that rate. At least you got two more children. Let me see. March 12th? March 12th. Oh, you got twins. He only has ten more cohorts. But if I really want to prevent civil war, which we do have the money, but <laughs> we would have a big drop in stability. We'll try to reward veterans. This would help it out. At least a little bit. Oh, and he's the extremely corrupt guy. That's the, another reason why there's hardly any support for me, because I'm very corrupt. Place governor. Who's that man again that you wanted? Brother of the Admiral. Just to remember your name and face. There he is. Not good, but if that's what the party wants. The loyalty will still be going down. We actually made a bit of gain. Oh, some more gains. In areas that I do not want. That's Sisopan Gold. These are Hellenics, mind you. him in and screw the rest of them. 
But nonetheless, uh, we are now a regional power. Since we just made it up to um, 25 territories. Lowers the threshold for civil war. More capital and port routes. More diplomatic range. And I guess we have to appoint a governor there. Peluvian Canaanite must be spending too much time in Corsica. Put one of them in. Hate to lose the stability just to, for the sake of stopping that man, but he's not at his healthiest. So if there's a a chance that he might die before civil war, we might as well worry about the other ones, like that man. Try to get rid of that rival and stop that stupid nonsense. Rising from obscurity, the salient fortunes are rising. Over time, our republic has achieved both greater wealth and power, thanks to the disloyal general. Traditionally, we've relied on the ability, valor, and dignity of our ancient and honorable families. But with rising fortune, there's also an ample opportunity for new men of quality to rise beyond their birthright. Contacts certainly help aspiring to join the elites, and there are some certainty, uh, certainly. Some families in, that the parties in our Senate would like to favor. If we support a candidate endorsed by the parties, it's just certain that this will upset the current balance of power in the Senate. Among those that aspire to greatness, uh, there is also Metrodoros Hellenid, a man that achieved great power without the support of the parties who would jump out of the opportunity to prove himself. Masalian Hellenic, Masalian Canaanite, Masalian Hellenic, Masalian Hellenic. But let me see, based on the skills of each of these people. One, six, seven, seven, six, ten, eight. Despite the fact he's Canaanite and the Democrat. Um, that's another good one. But he's my friend personally. Hmm. Or, or just some guy who not a Democrat but he could become an oligarch right this moment invite him oh jeez don't do that. I don't know. Party leaders. Be printing party leaders. Why didn't you think of that? But anyways, invite um, Artemidor to set up it. Damn, he'll take on a number of minor characters as clients. Be printing party leaders. Why didn't you think of that? That hurt. Plus, don't you know that I'm brain damaged? Why did you elect me again? Is it because of my popularity? I would rather die before I see the next. <laughs> but, we're turning it around now. At least we got further approval. Yeah. Befriending party leaders. Why did you not think of that? By the way, how much money do I have? Maybe this is the last chance to stop a civil war. I mean, I got pretty good money. He's not Morel. He's got no friends. Maybe this is our last chance to, well, stabilize the country a bit without having to spend stability for it. Yeah, the friending party leaders. Why didn't you think of that? That would further up the approval. 
And if I die, that man, the, the, the oligarchs will still be running the board. Yeah, why don't you think of that? So, for note, the Xenophids now run the fourth prominent family here. But they need some jobs. Which we'll be happy to remove some in a moment. Just let me spend my personal funds. You'll get yours. And plus you're daring in your lust hole, so maybe I regret my decision. And they got a decent power base. But if we can get the army back here, then, then at least we'll have a loyal army to deal with the rebellion. If it ever breaks out. Just food only. National frame and happiness. This will help. It is well known that Canada is over that seeking a particular government office for some time. Until now, he has been passed over unjustly in favor of others. With a well placed word, Serangan, we could achieve both Canada's aims and our own. We can make a large amount of progress. Retired a general and. Well, this will help these Xenophytes a bit. So give him what he wants, even though that's going to hurt a bit of tyranny, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. He still has his cohorts, but he's going to die out. So we successfully averted swords, like the guy's like, well, I want a new job. Ah, yes, we put you in, and your old man is the head of the family. Well, what's his name? Neotolemus. Yeah. That's him. That's the old man. You're gonna get what you want. So, is this your son, by the way? Let me. Yeah, that's your son. He's already got two children of his own. Who's the mother? Unknown. They're both the Sky Hellenics. You and I are gonna get along together. But check the traits. Other than a Walter issue, but him, he's harsh and he's blunt. Heaven forbid that you run the uh, the country. And that man should run the navy. Not that man. There you go. Now you got what you want. Hopefully that'll make your old man happy. Well, actually, they're... Okay, may have been minor character and thus they became... Yeah. But he still dislikes me because of the, um... Faction approval, which... We're trying to get around that. Plus he's a demon. It's all good now. Yeah, we expanded quite a bit, and we're now a regional power, which is good. But I still want to expand this way, which, unfortunately, they got back together. But remember, Carthage won't help us because of, well, make them happy a little, then they'll come. We got a lot of time. Don't you worry. Also, barbarians have attacked um, Emporium. They're gonna ravage the place. I like get this screen. 
province this sort is still going down because of the um, governor corruption. Because he's deceitful. He's making things worse over there. That, and plus you've got a lot of Corsicans, which I even considered integrating them since they are the majority of the island. Of course, lower stability, but we can't do it because of low Senate support. Zora, the soaring, this won't be lowered. Not to mention, we know that he's an extremely corrupt man who's not expected to live soon after. embrace tyranny if we want to go for a dictatorship instead of being a republic. Thank you very much. Maybe that is the only way to, you know, continue on the survival of the sovereignty of Massalia. Take that fort down. Not an important area. Never wanted to hold Liguria. Off to you. Troops to fight better. And increase subject opinion. Have we been advancing a little too fast on the research? Senate support's going down, unfortunately. Barbarians in my territory. Shoot. because we had a lowered fort minutes. Hey, Mamnon, you made it third place. Yeah, you may want to step back. Because I don't want to be fighting against barbarians, but they've really messed with everything there. It could mess with our enemy potentially. But sense support's going down, unfortunately. Do I really need to do that? Just petty. Grant rights to Bolivians. 
Okay, let's put them back. Of course, I would lower stability when you do so. I our stability is fine enough. But it's going to be going down a lot since we're going to be integrating those people in again. This traditionalist ain't going to like it. So you, why do I even bother? Seeking Shadowkid Spouse. Didn't know you could do that while you're governor, but you can't do that here because you don't see no option for that because it's a republic. You worry about that when you're a monarchy. Which is a possibility of a form of government we may go for. We've got much better support now. now. Now these guys are dealing with barbarian trouble. Which, uh, which I'm just going to have to speed it up again because of... Um, well, man's brain damage. Again with you. Oh, he's dead. And all the ball cords died with him. Decent statesmanship. Since we're advancing so fast, what are the other countries' levels? Six for all for Rome? Carthage is lagging behind? Antigone Kingdoms, three. Egypt is four. Thrace is five. Five for Macedon. Maybe when you're smaller countries and republics and we have more nobles, you have a much easier control. Yeah, you've insulted me back then, but we'll learn to forgive and forget. Hopefully one day. We only have one cash spot in that area we want to expand, but we cannot because of an unruly senate, which is starting to come around again. They have practiced reforms. The poor, numerous, downtrodden have long argued for the inclusion in the great armies of Massalia. One army. After generations of oppression, one man has risen to challenge the status quo to, to represent the interests of these lower classes. Um, Boyo, uh, Boyo? Or Boio? Um, Epipathicus. Um, many argue that he's one of the greatest minds of our generation. Holds a crucial stance in Obele, um, walking a fine line between populism and nobility, while certain credibility amongst his peers. Ever an innovative taker? Thinker. He has tabled a proposition demanding a complete overhaul of our recruitment policies allow and allowing for a greater inclusion uh, of the lower classes in matters of state military. Such a radical reform is to sure have consequences, whichever stance we take. Whew. We'll go aggressive expansion, but hey, Democrats are going to really love this. Military modernization. Coming from an Alluvian Druidic man. Guess he's got it all figured out. Let's embrace these reforms. There we go. All we needed is a big reform. Not just we're not doing government reform. Patience paid off. 
And yet you had to get an approval from a man who is basically a lusty, brain-damaged man. He's not brain-dead yet. The oligarchs will likely to be remain in power, but hey, we got it. If only we get more approval from the um, traditionalists, but well, it'll lower the approval on both parties, and thus balancing it a bit. Assembly of soldiers. Again, stability is too low. Again, lower it is, let people be happy. Which, again, we'll integrate the Alluvians again. Then we'll, um... Integrate the Corsicans. Because I believe they're the ones that are making that island province trouble. Cut it out. the same guys from earlier. When barbarians cause trouble, that kills the civilization, because it was occupied. Still occupied by barbarians. Yeah, it costs way less tyranny now. Which I think it's doable. If Carthage is willing. They're all willing. Very good. Well, we're finally going to get the war that we want. Now that the barbarians are keeping them busy. Because of their lowered cohorts and clan retinues. Our Sorbonnet also had barbarian trouble. I think those marauding barbarians um, have may have been a... Blessings in disguise. So, get the maintenance up. Get ready for war. To your position. Well, General, you only have two lower cohorts now. You don't have much of a senatorial influence. You are going to make your old man proud. Even though he's not going to be with you any longer. Shaw's arrival. Died at 79 of that kind of... the hell? Slightly going up, so it's kind of stagnant. Oh, just kill me already. If somebody wants to assassinate me, let it happen. I'm at a point that I could die before the term goes up. Or soon afterwards. The oligarchs will remain in power, but at least it'll be led by a much more competent man. Though, not too healthy, but he'll be alright. For the most part. Damn that man! Said I'm kicking him out. He's extorting territory. I need an incorruptible loyal man. And healthy. And it looks like you might be the man for the job. Yes, that'll help. Yeah, give them harsh treatment. Just show them what it means to put down unrest. You gotta do it. You're the one that introduced the uh, reforms, which causes to have more manpower recovery speed and more discipline in our army. See, now we double the recovery, which we would have more if we just get more of this territory and that area too, 
and integrate them to get pick up two more cities for more citizens and freemen, which will definitely help out the manpower and this region as well. Definitely help it. Sometimes I wish they would just come on down here so I can get the loot. Well, we do have the money, but... I thought of something. No, we can't make him a client state. He has something against us. Just wait till the morale's all the way up, and then start the war, which will happen in the next episode. So, as I said, I was beginning to lose faith in the Republic, but, um, well, I think, uh, we finally got some what they wanted. And we got some fresh new faces in the party leaders. Especially if it's a dumb, loyal man. That's good. Dumb and loyal. That's what I want in people. The oligarchs will remain in power in the next war, but... We're trying to grant them rights. Are the Alluvians. Which their progress are uh, more than halfway done. To have so much political influence, um, might as well have more city building slots because we're picking up more and more of the population. Hey, since you made it to third place, go compete again. Maybe you'll win this time. Yeah, he's rather unpopular. People simply love circuses. Nearly spent all the money for this. And want to declare war against Sorbonia. Well, it's not going to be quite what you think, but we will. I won't. Just so we deny priest senate. Don't you worry, we will be at war. Unfortunately, we have another extremely corruptible man whose monthly political influence is going to help us very much in the way of things. And the support of the Senate makes him unlikable. Listen, we had it, but unfortunately... Now it's going to be on a downward trend. And it's only going to get worse and worse. Was sponsoring games. Right then. At least you got a wife and, um... Oh yeah, you already had two kids, it's just you got yourself a new wife now. You're eligible enough to be elected if you ever prove yourself in this war. In fact, you are a potential candidate. But if you want to be the next Archon, you've got to fight many battles. Win sieges win the war and that will happen in the next episode even if it causes more tyranny again so we're not giving up on the republic yet we got a lot of disloyal characters that has to be um, dealt with so we'll be dealing with uh, 
the expansion towards this territory, finally. And wherever the barbarians went, it... Salute you. Oh, they, they went that way. They're gone far. They ain't coming back here. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll stop this episode right here, and uh, we'll go to this war to take down this fort, that fort, and that fort. It's going to be a lot of forts to take down. And then one more, and we'll soon be right connected to Emporion, and integrate them one day, and that includes that territory, even if we have to fight them as well. And also give what the Senate wants. That and the Illuvians will be integrated culture again, and then soon we may have to bring the Corsicans in too, because we can't ignore them. There are more Corsicans than there are Massalians. Despite the cultural assimilation, which the process seems to be working. As there are more Massalian pops now. Even though a bunch of Corsicans moved in over the years. But we won't ignore the Corsicans. And the religion is still quite mixed, but... Yeah, it seems that process of assimilation has gone really fast uh, over the last couple of years. So has the conversion, so it's working. Integrated or unintegrated, they're all going to be speaking Greek and worship our gods. And if we ever get our stability back up again, then maybe we'll introduce one more and get rid of that druidic happiness. Unless you want to make some sacrifices, which will work, but um, there's going to be some more tyranny and therefore Senate disapproval from Democrats and more for the oligarchs. And if we want to, we could finally implement lifetime elections, which... Well, you know what's going to happen. A lot of things are going to happen. But again, don't go for lifetime elections this soon. We're not going for a dictatorship. We're just going to give a republic another chance. And we hope you people will be given another chance to see the next episode. Until then, so long for now.